Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Let's Play Stormblood. So, we're gonna make friends with the Blue Cosian today. Or at least we're gonna try to. In a last ditch effort to get the Confederacy, you know, to cooperate with us and stop being a bunch of jerks. Maybe? Hopefully. But fortunately, we gotta swim there. And it's gonna take us a while. Feels so good to be on solid ground again. Man, swimming is exhausting. Come back for you in a minute, friends. I'm a crabby on my butt over here. Yes, Lise, I actually went through this last episode. At least I don't you have a map? Did you not say you had a map? Like... D did the map just tell you about the tower and, and nothing else? You might have gotten ripped off on this thing. Well, this looks inviting. I don't know, maybe we should jump! Whee! That was fun. Could have gotten crushed to death on one of those rocks, but... Let's do that again. <laughs> Whee! Alright, enough of that. <laughs> We have to mind fake ways to entertain ourselves somehow, okay? Alright, okay. Oh wait, is this the land route that leads me back up? Yeah, it is. I always forget about this part, because this cavern is not very well lit, and I do this, like, every damn time. Is that light I see up ahead? <gasps> well, this is different. We uh appear to be standing inside a giant bubble by the 12 i think we're on the seabed huh okay well well i thought i heard familiar voices Oh, hi! Soroban, what are you doing here? Hmm, what a curious question. I live here. You know, this really should seem kind of obvious because this is where the Cogent of the Blue are. That's what he is. It seems kind of natural, but I guess they just didn't think about it. Then this is the home of the Blue Cogent? Yes. Just so. I bid you welcome to Tamamizu. Oh, 
Oh, do you mind showing us around then? I mean, it is a pretty cool thing that, you know, even though our, our bargain with him is completely over and he was never a bad guy, you know, specifically just using us, you know, we were just kind of, you know, we were kind of a means to an end. There was nothing malicious behind it or anything, but it's good to know that he, st you know, we're still considered, uh, friends. And he's like, oh, hey, you guys are cool. Hi, how are you doing? So, like, I really kind of like that. That it wasn't, you know, it, it's it's something more than just a mutually beneficial relationship, you know. It's something, something positive came out of this, you know. Yeah, let us tell Sorban what the heck is going on. He's probably confused as crap. He's like, what the heck are you guys doing here? Yeah, um, yeah, we're, we want to get you guys on our side and kick out the red from being mercenaries for the Empire to kind of get the Confederacy to cooperate with us and liberate a fishing village because our friend is being held hostage and not really against his will, but yeah, the whole thing is really messy and complicated and really convoluted, but th this is where we are. Okay. Well, actually, no. I gotta talk to you guys first. So I, I love how she's like actually actively thinking about this, you know. She, she, like, talks about, you know, how she doesn't quite have the way with words that her sister or her dad did. But it's clear she she cares because, she you know, she wants to be polite. You know, she wants to show proper etiquette and get her intent across properly. So she's, already, she's partway there already, you know? No, okay, so we just call him Master Elder Leader? Sir? Welcome, guests. Gratitude to you for aiding Soroban in his negotiations. We thank you for your hospitality, honored Elder. Pray forgive me my brevity, but I wish to discuss an urgent matter. So, you seek to compel our Red Brothers to forego hostilities for a time. Yeah, that about sums it up. That's right. We know your two clans have your differences, but what with you being brothers and all, uh, we thought you might be able to share some secret knowledge or something? From far above, you have journeyed here in search of our wisdom. You shall have it. Oh, okay, well that was easy. All creation is a tapestry through which the divine is interwoven. Kami are legion, and they can be found in the great and the small. Though they come and go as they please, they favor certain vessels. The ancient, the precious, the exquisite. We, Korjin, covet these vessels, these treasures. We go forth and bring them home to keep them safe and bask in their divinity. They bring prosperity and joy to us and our children. Yet, 
How are we to seek these treasures above? If we made enemies of the Garlean Empire, powerful and far-reaching as they are. Wiser to join with them. So resolved the Red Kojin. Cautiously and carefully, for the Garleans are blind to the Divine. Nor will they suffer their subjects to see. So the Red masquerade as mercenaries who seek money and power, and never speak of their faith in the presence of their masters. So can we use that to screw them over, maybe? I don't know, just a thought. To honor the Divine, they deny it. A twisted and misguided path. Aye, aye. Kami will not abide such foolishness. This they shall learn to their sorrow. While our red brothers live by the sword, we blue Kojin uphold the old ways, engaging in trade and valuing peace. Alas, men distinguish not between our clans and judgment for the doings of the Red falls unjustly upon the Blue. Thus do men grow more and more reluctant to deal with us, denying us our treasures. This cannot continue. Well, we just made a deal with the East Admiral Trading Company to help with that. I mean, it doesn't solve all your problems, but it's a foot in the door, isn't it? On that point, we are in agreement. You are willing to aid our cause, then? There is a way that the Red may be driven to retreat into their shells. But to share with you this knowledge is to reveal secrets of the Divine. Assurances must first be had. Trust forged. A bargain struck. Ah, oh, great. What do we need to do now? Well said, Elder. In great crises is great profit to be had. Delight not overmuch in such things, Sodoban. Now, tell our guests what must be done. As you wish. Well, I've no idea what we've gotten ourselves into, but so far so good, right? Yeah, we at least made ourselves some more friends, so there's that. And we're under the sea, so should the Imperials come, you know, marching by and stuff like that, we get a safe place to hide. You know, that's that's pretty awesome, right? Alright, we're just gonna call it the doohickey because I don't know how to pronounce that. Yeah, um... Yeah, we, we kind of need to breathe. No, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, you can do this? Y y you can just, like... Okay, I, I just get a shopping list of a bunch of stuff and, and suddenly my drowning problems are solved? That seems a little bit too easy. I don't know. I mean, hey, I, I guess if it works. 
Although, I don't know if it's actually ever said if the Kojin themselves can breathe underwater or if they need to perform this ritual on themselves. I don't know. I don't know was it, if, there's, is that, if that's ever said at all. I've, I've thought about it from time to time, but I've never actually done any research to, you know, look, you know, look into that. I haven't caught up on Lorebook 2 or anything like that. But if they do need to put it on themselves, it, it would explain how, quote-unquote, easily it can be done. Hey, 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 hey. He had to learn those firewood gathering skills, okay? I'm sure he's proud of them. He's, he's come far. Alright, you do that. I'm gonna go kill some crabs. Okay, thanks. Alright, I'm done now. Last one there is a rotten egg. For once, it hope hopefully won't be me. Oh, good. I don't see them around. All right, maybe maybe I finally got here first for once. Yeah, someone with tiny hands, I can relate. <laughs> oh, okay, so they've already narrowed it down a bunch, okay. What? Okay, yeah, we don't want to forget the about the ritual, but but can we back up for a second there? Did did did, did you just say that we're a bunch of rain living down here too? What what? I'm lost. Don't question the magic, Alize. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Oh my god, Lisa's so excited about this. I too am curious. Uh, may maybe, maybe one of us should test this out first uh, before all three of us go in. Just in case. And, and I vote not me. The Warrior of Light. Uh, okay. So how does this whole bubble thing work? I suppose we should be questioning that first, but whatever. It is done. Your offerings have been given to the sea. The ritual can begin at last. Come and stand before me, my friends. Yes, yes. Listen to my words, and let all else wash away. Listen to my words, and feel them flow into your heart. At first a trickle, then a flood.
O Kami of the fathomless waters of the fallen, the ascended, the flowing, and the becalmed, caretakers of the shallows and of the depths, receive of us our meager offerings, cleanse these ones of earth and stone, and grant them your blessing, that they might drink deep of the divine. The ritual is complete, my friends. You may now breathe in the depths as you would upon land. Strange. I don't feel any different. Are you sure it worked? Reasonably. The blessing does have its limits, of course. While it will allow you to dwell in the depths, it will not help you traverse them. I can swim well enough. How about you, Alize? We, we've spent enough time swimming from here from here to there. We should be well acquainted with each other's swimming skills by now. Oh, like a fish, in contrast to my doggy paddling brother. Somehow, the boy just isn't very buoyant. Mm, skilled or no, your bodies are ill-suited to the sea. Your cause demands alacrity, and you shall have it. Yeah, but can we go back to joking about how often I apparently can't swim? But first, let us take to the water. No, let's go back to making fun of Alpha now. That's fun. We need some entertainment in these dark, dire times right now. Well, it looked like she's volunteering. Hopefully it worked, because uh, I'm going to miss you if you end up actually, you know, it didn't work and you do end up drowning. Incredible. I could swear I was breathing air. Now I shall summon for you noble steeds of great strength. So apparently this also affected our hearing abilities as well because human ears need air in order to hear. I mean, I suppose I really shouldn't be questioning the science of all this. It is a fantasy game after all, but... Wow, look at them! I bet they could take us all the way to the deepest depths of the sea! Yeah, but the pressure would probably still kill you. And so they may. After we've won over the Confederacy, rescued Kosetsu, and liberated your respective homelands. Should you become parted from your steeds, return to me, and I shall call them again. Take care, my friends. And may the Kami speed you on your way. We'll find that treasure in no time. Come on! So, I don't see any reins on these things, so how are we gonna drive them? I, guys, 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 for real, you're leaving without me again. Is my button sticks. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Buttons are sticking. I'm not used to using my touchpad at all. So yeah, um, we're... Now all of a sudden these things have reins on them. Okay. I'm not sure why they didn't appear in the cutscene. So yeah, we're riding a manta ray. It's pretty damn awesome if you ask me. Now unfortunately we do not unlock this as a mount. Uh, you can by doing 
a crap load of quests for the blue cogent, which we will not be doing because that is way, way too time consuming. Something big like beast tribe quest. <laughs> Well, it's good to know that these things can breathe there too. Look at them jump! They don't have any legs, but... <laughs> so yeah, we didn't have to go very far. Yeah, about this place. Oh hey, we can emote underwater now. Phew, hooray. Didn't really need to do that right now, but... Yeah, I love these little, uh... I don't know, they're kind of like airlocks, but for the water. It's actually kind of neat. And they, they, if you actually... Uh, Tamamizu has a bunch too, but... Um, yeah, there's some on the ground and there's some on the ceiling too. So you get various exits. We can't fly in here, obviously, yet, but... At such time when we can, we can always exit out the ceiling. But yeah, um, are, are these little air bubbles underneath the water? Are these part of Kojin magics and, and stuff too? How does all this work? I don't know if they ever explain that part. Like, whose magic controls these these things? They're 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 freaking great, but how strong they are. Like, if a shark comes and, like, smacks up against it. Do they have, like, incidents of, like, that, I wonder? Like, like if you've ever had, um, like, glass doors in a house? Yeah, you might be familiar with, uh, birds, you know, smacking into it because they can't see that that's, you know, something solid and not something that can be flown through. That used to happen at my childhood home. Um... <laughs> But I wonder if something similar happens here with the uh, the underwater life where like a shark is just swimming along da -da 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 -da, and then whacks himself into the barrier here. <laughs> I want to see that now. I know it's not going to happen, but that, that would be just hilarious to watch. Like just have like an eel, you know, be swimming along da -da 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 -da, and it just like smacks himself and then all of a sudden you see it like streak down the side. I mean, that wouldn't happen because, well, gravity doesn't have quite the same effects underwater, but whatever. It would just be something really funny to see. Someone draw me a comic of that. I mean, might as well be asking into thin air, but <laughs> just amusing to think about. So we're gonna have to deal with what awaits us in this village and find out what the heck is going on and why a bunch of rain are living underneath the ocean. But thank you for watching, my friends, and I shall see you next time.